I'm Alex, I'm a professional rock climber. I spent the last 20 years pushing myself and climbing in that way, you know, choosing big goals and working toward them. And so I think it's important to, to have something to work for. Hey Detroit, buckle up, strap in. This is the show we've been waiting for. And joining me in the studio today, my hero for sure, Alex Harnell is here from the Harnell Foundation. Alex, I am so happy you're in Detroit. <laughs> no, but thanks, thanks for having me. <laughs> my first time. Detroit. This is the far east side of Detroit. When we went into the big bubble in 2008, and a lot of these families began to lose their homes. And just here, you can begin to see board-up houses and things like that. See, there's still beautiful little houses up there. Good morning. Hey, we're descending on you, baby. Oh, yeah, look, <laughs> my baby say, who are all them people out there? <laughs> <laughs> this is Dory. She's the executive director for the Harnell Foundation. Mm -hmm. This is Betty, our so family, our yes. community land trust mm -hmm. family. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us invade your home. Hey, no <laughs> the Harnell Foundation promotes solar energy for a more equitable world. So what that means is that we support nonprofits all over the world who are using solar energy to make people's lives better and to reduce environmental impact. I first met Reverend Ross um, this winter, and it was like immediately evident to me that we should be supporting the work that Reverend Ross is doing at, at New CC. I, I bought a home back in 95, got behind in the taxes, and the land trust was picking up homes where people didn't have to move and you was able to stay in the home. That's how I got involved with Reverend Ross. It's a blessing. I raised all my kids here, grandkids too. Alex, you'd probably be more at home up there. No, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of uh, very slow. Watching these guys move, you're like, oh, this is how actual professionals do. It's a lot faster and a lot more. Yeah. It's a lot yeah, more impressive. Yeah. The work that the Hanna Foundation is supporting through Reverend Ross is exactly the sort of project that we've tried to support around the world. And so to see this happening in Detroit in, in this kind of community is, is, is perfect. Like the solar panels that are going on your house, I guess this is like the first home in the country that's got yeah. any special solar panel. It's like yeah. a new one they're putting in. Yeah. yeah. You're getting the best of the best. So REC partnered with New CC and the Honold Foundation and we donated 50 kilowatts uh, of solar modules to 10 households here in Detroit. So this is uh, REC's new Alpha Series uh, solar panel. All right, man, do the honors. Boom. You hear that click? Yeah, yeah. Yep, that means you're good. When people are paying, you know, $150, $200 a month in electric bills, and we can spin their meter backwards, uh, save them 200 you know, call it $200 a month, that's 2400 bucks a year. That's real money. This is going to make a big difference. It hopefully cut the beer in half. Yeah. I say it's pretty satisfying to see a project that we've talked about for so long and, and uh, you know, read about and, and imagined and to actually see it physically happening is, is super satisfying. And I think maybe even more satisfying is to meet the homeowner and to see her grandkids playing on the driveway, you know, just to see the people who will be affected by this project and to see, you know, the lives that are, that are impacted. I know, what green is. I know what green is too, but making your house green is different. I know what that is. Let the story of Detroit and the heroes, the champions of Detroit, 
be the story that you focus on. It's the, the guys who are struggling to raise kids with the $500 a month electric bill. It's the families like Betty. And it's the folks who will pitch in with me to help other people when it may not even be their fight at all. Those are the heroes in Detroit. Tonight, especially, I'd like to thank a whole bunch of people that helped make a dream that I have come true. And that is to provide solar in the city for low-income families. for the benefit of the citizens of our great city, exemplifies the spirit of Detroit. So we present you.